Hello and welcome to another update video about Gala. So Gala is uh, certainly back in a, in a downtrend here. Um, nothing we haven't talked about before. Yeah, in fact, we've actually now entered the support area. Um, and um, yeah, a lot of people had already concerns that we would never get into these price regions again. But um, yeah, it's uh, it's been the expected area for a wave for a wave two. So we are there now. And I think uh, based on everything I see, we should be in a wave two, provided the support area here is holding, because if it doesn't, at 2.57 cents, we are going to probably make a new low. Yeah? Um, however, what I would prefer is, even if we don't really know is the bear market over or not, to at least see something like this, five waves up, which we saw, then here three waves down, and then at least five more up. So it could be here an A wave, B wave, C wave, yeah, with um, the view that we could get new lows afterwards. But it would be great to actually, um, which would be the bullish case, to make here the wave one, the wave two, and then we should get a three, four, five, and then you know eventually make another higher low and and rally higher to new all-time highs. Um, but for now, we need to we need to take it level by level. And for now, as long as the 2.57 cent area is holding we can generally focus on higher but in the short term here obviously downtrend is at play we have only just entered the support area for this wave two and if the area the overall area here is holding we should get a turnaround in a wave three to the upside um, looks like we came down here in an a wave yeah we moved up in a b wave i do have to I do have to um, revise the count because this cannot be a three wave move down. This has to be a five wave move down in an A wave, um, which is possible. You can count it as a leading diagonal because the B wave was very shallow, short. Yeah? So I've got an A wave down here. I've got a B wave to the upside and we're now rallying down in a C wave. This is valid as long as we have only three waves down yeah, as an ABC and as long as we're holding the 2.57 cent level. So next support I would say is 3.368 after we already dropped below the 50% retracement here. However, bear in mind, we will also have some support here. It's just support is here in this region everywhere. Yeah, we've got the previous wave four low as well. So sometimes wave two so, uh, retracements, corrections tend to come back into a, uh, into a previous wave four support area. So there's a chance this is holding at around 3.6 cents. If we drop below that, we've got FIP support at 3.368 and below that, and it's really the last possibility for it to turn around to remain somewhat bullish, that is the 2.57 cent area. Yeah. So that's sort of where we are. At the moment, the C wave is a bit short, so I would rather prefer it to go a little bit longer. Um, but we have to say it reached already the sort of the minimum, I think, the minimum um, target for a C wave is the 61.8 extension. It has reached that, but it's really only the minimum. Um, next, you could say next probable target would be here the uh, three cent level. Yeah, so these are all valid targets, support levels that you need to focus on when we come down here further. But most attention, I think, needs to be put on those Fibonacci support levels. Now, one more way to identify a possible target here for the C wave is if we draw a trend line here between the beginning of the A wave and the top of the B wave, and then we try to draw a parallel channel like that, a corrective price channel, this would point towards, yeah, somewhere the area around the 61.8 retracement. Um, if, we, if we bounce and find support at the channel, it's often what you can use in such a zigzag pattern that the C wave could find support somewhere at the lower end of the trend channel. Now, of course, it depends on how long does this move take and so on time-wise, but I would pay attention to this channel. Put it on your chart as well. It's uh, very relevant. And that's sort of where we are, yeah? I mean, at the moment, no, no trend reversal signal yet. I mean, these can always turn around at an instant. Therefore, be aware of the key Fibonacci support levels, the trend channel support and the structural support around the previous wave four low. I think they are all, they are all relevant. Um, but for now, until the trend is making here, turning around and making higher highs, higher lows, we are for now looking at lower. And I think next target and support would be here around 3.6 cents, the previous wave four low. If we lose that, 
than 3.36 cents. And we've got some confluency between the 61.8 Fibonacci retracement, a very relevant one, the so-called golden ratio and the channel support. Okay, that's my update about um, Gala. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.